first example, we're going to start by performing some basic hammer-ons and pull-offs in a G major chord progression. We're going to start by placing our first finger on the second fret of the fifth string, our second finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and then our third finger on the third fret of the second string. So we're outlining a G chord for this one, and then with our right hand, we're going to place our thumb on the sixth string, we're going to place our first finger on the fourth string, second finger on the third string, and then third finger on the second string. We're going to begin by playing the thumb, first, second, then third finger. Then we're going to finish the sequence by playing the fourth and then third string, with our first and second finger once more. Then we're going to perform our first hammer on by taking off our second finger on the left hand, playing the open sixth string with our thumb, and then performing a hammer on to the third fret of that sixth string. You'll notice that I'm aiming somewhat towards the higher end of the fret, close to the nut, to produce the best volume. We're going to keep our first and third finger glued to the position that they're already in on the fretboard. After doing the hammer-on, we're going to proceed to play fourth, third and second string once more with our first, second, third finger. So from the beginning, the first bar is... Then we're going to move to our next chord position, which is going to be a C chord. We're going to move our first and second finger up a string to where our first finger is on the second fret of the fourth string. And then our second finger is on the third fret of the fifth string. We're going to proceed to play the same sequence that we did on the G chord. Only now our thumb is on the fifth string. Now we're going to perform another hammer-on. We're going to take off our second finger. We're going to place our first finger on the second fret of the fifth string. We're going to play that with our thumb. And then we're going to do a hammer-on to the third fret using our second finger. After that, we proceed to transition our first finger from the fifth to the fourth string on the second fret. And we play that fourth string with our first finger once more. Then third string and then second string. Third string with our second finger, second string with our third finger. So we play. Hammering on in this chord from the 2nd to the 3rd fret might require just a little bit more strength than hammering on from open to the 3rd fret in the, the bar with the G chord progression. So from the beginning of that bar, where we start the C chord, we had... Now we're going to transition to an E minor 7 chord, but we're going to simplify it a little bit from what we've usually been playing. Our first finger is going to go on the second fret of the fourth string, and then our third finger is going to remain on the third fret of the second string. With our right hand, we're going to play open sixth string with the thumb. First finger will play the fourth string. Second finger plays the third string. Third finger will play second string. Then we're going to perform a pull off here. We're going to pull off from our third fret of the second string to open. Like this. Practice doing that a few times. 
It's okay if you swipe down and ring out the first string as well. So we play. After that, we play the third string again with our second finger. Then we transition to our D chord. First finger goes on the second fret of the third string. Second finger goes on the second fret of the first string. Third finger goes on the third fret of the second string. We lift up our second finger. After we play, fourth string with our thumb, third string with our first finger, second string with our second finger, play open first string with our third finger, then we hammer on with our second finger on the left hand to the second fret, like this. Then we finish by lifting up our second finger and playing the first string open once more with our third finger on the right hand. So from the E minor 7 chord we have... Now for the final bar, we're going to transition to a C major chord in this position. Our first finger is going to go on the first fret of the second string. Our second finger will go on the second fret of the fourth string. Then our third finger will go on the third fret of the fifth string. We start by playing 5th string with our thumb, 4th string with our first finger, 3rd string with our 2nd finger, then 2nd string with our 3rd finger. After we play the 2nd string, we pull off from the 1st fret. And then we play the open 3rd string. After that, we're going to perform a hammer-on by playing open third string again with our second finger on the right hand. We're going to hammer on to the second fret of the third string with our first finger after it lifts up from the first fret of the second string. So, And then we proceed to play the open third string once more with our second finger. So that's the hammer-on we're performing there. This one's a little more awkward because we're using a little bit of a tight space to fit our first finger on the left hand into that fret. So you want to try and aim for the middle of the fret as much as possible rather than hitting, hammering on towards the lower end of the fret like this, because you will get some buzzing that way. So you want to aim for the middle. So from the beginning of that C chord, Then we finish by doing 4th string with our index finger and then 5th string with our thumb once more. We have... So now let's play it from the beginning nice and slowly. that we played in the beginning. And that's the first example.